going. All right, welcome to the team call. It's October 15th, already halfway through the month. Before we know it, we're going to be saying Happy New Year, right? Um, today we have a guest speaker. Her name is Bonnie Engel, and her last name is spelled E-N-G-L-E. If you do not follow her on Facebook, just click follow on her Facebook page. Um, she is someone that I've looked up to in the business, and I just had the chance to speak on her team call last week. Um, welcome to everyone that is new on this call today. We have 17 people on today. I'm pumped. I know that some others are working, so we'll catch the recording. But welcome to the new coaches. This is so exciting. The team is growing so fast. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of recognition first. Uh, I want to recognize everyone, to be honest, because the Success Club and the volume that this team is producing is just mind-blowing right now. I've been a little disconnected this week and every single day that I log back in, amazing things are happening. So that momentum I was talking about with you guys for you know October, November, December typically end, end up being slower, you guys are blowing it out of the water. So high five to everyone, I'm so proud of you guys. The engagement in the team page is really what I look forward to every day. When you someday start your own team, your biggest fear is not having people engage in the team page. So to see what you guys are doing in there is awesome. Um, we've already had 37 new coaches added to Dream Corp since the 1st of October. So we are still trending to do summer numbers here. This is awesome. I also wanted to recognize you guys on your workouts and your results and the challenge groups you guys are running. That is a huge part of, the, of this business. And I love how you guys are not scared to share. I don't ever have to worry about that with you guys. And Bonnie is going to even talk more about sharing today but the results and your dedication to your fitness right now is really awesome and it's going to pay off in the end so keep that up and if you guys haven't considered submitting your results to the beach body challenge i highly recommend it we've had so many coaches within our organization um, no one on dream core yet but in this organization that um, i work with every day that has been a beach body challenge winner so don't yeah. forget to submit your results um and I know a lot of the new coaches that started this summer are already starting to see great team cycle um, weekly paychecks. And so I just want to tell you guys that when I started as a coach, I didn't see team cycle bonus checks for months. So for the coaches that are even getting the small ones right now, that is awesome. Don't just like, don't disregard those small checks because those are going to compound over time. Okay. Enough about any of that. Um, I'm going to move right along to Miss Bonnie. So again, she's someone that I um, basically just kind of found on the book, and her face is always showing up. Hold on one second. We have some background noise. I'm gonna. There we go. Um, we. I found her on Facebook from mutual friends in the organization as coaches, and I was like, she is so full of life and so full of energy. And so I shared with um, my team that was really small in the beginning, so make sure you guys follow her. And I've watched her um, basically since the beginning of this year. She's been a coach for 10 months. And I was like, you know, I'm going to reach out to her, and I'm going to ask her to speak on the team call because I love what she shares. It is so genuine and so real, and that's exactly what people are looking for. So she is one star qualifying. She's been a coach for 10 months. She has hit success club 10 every month. I know some of this might sound like jargon to some of the new coaches, but don't worry about it. Success club 10 every month. Um, and she actually quit her job six months into the business and she's about to quit her other part-time job. So basically she's beach body full time. Um, and like she said, she lives on a military base because of her hubby. So, um, she definitely has no excuses going for her. Um, Bonnie's transparent. She shares her, she shares the real Bonnie, and she shares a lot of fun stuff. So Bonnie, I'm going to let you take it away. And thanks again for talking today. Yay, of course. Thank you so much for that intro. I feel so fancy right now. Um, thank you all so much. It is so wonderful to see a full screen of people on a team call. That is so wonderful. Um, thank you all for having me and for letting me talk to you. And thank you, Colleen, for even asking me to do this. You guys, I don't know if you realize it. You probably do, but you have an incredible leader in Colleen. I mean, she is someone that I look up to. I was honored when she reached out to me and said that she looked up to me. I mean, um, so really cherish that time and that one-on-one -on -one because that is something that I didn't do in the beginning of the business is cherish that leadership. 
Um, so really make sure that you take advantage of that, um, that you made a wise choice in your sponsor coach. So first I thought that it would have my background story and how I got into coaching. Um, cause I think it's really important to why I am so successful with sharing and why so quickly in only 10 months I have seen a lot of success. So when I totally thought that it was a scam, I, in my past, have gone through pretty much any job you guys can think of. I was a traveling actress. I was on a national Broadway tour. I was um, the director of operations at a medical marketing firm. I was a bartender. I was just any, literally any job you can think of. So I guess you could say that I was sort of lost in a way. Like I never fully found what made me happy or what I even wanted to stick to. I had kind of a track record of, you know, I, I always hated my job. I never really felt fulfilled or never really wanted to be there. So when my husband and I met, I was still a traveling actress while well, my now husband, he wasn't my husband back then. Um, and I was in a pretty hefty pile of debt, about $140,000 of debt. And I was in the habit of avoiding that. So they all defaulted, all of my loans. And I got more phone calls from Sally Mae than I got from my best friends. <laughs> um, they, the banks were calling me, telling me that you know, they were going to sue me if I didn't pay. I was paying over 2000 I didn't see a way out. I, I was only making so much money. My uh, then fiance had just gotten laid off from his corporate job and we were at zero. I mean, I cried more days than I smiled. There was, I didn't see a way out. Um, so I guess it's fair to say that I sort of hit rock bottom right before I joined Beachbody. Um, and my best friend, who the night that my husband and I asked him to be in our wedding, was unfortunately killed. And this all happened right, like, boom, 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 right before Beachbody came into my life. And my husband had just been offered a position in the Air Force, so we picked up our lives and obviously moved to California because it was the only option that we had. Um, thank God that has worked out for us, but... When I first moved here, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do for a living? I don't know anybody out here. I, I have no connections. I don't have a resume. My resume is crazy. <laughs> like all of these different things, who is going to hire me? Um, and I had heard a lot of things about Beachbody. I had touched on insanity before in my life, but you know, I had had heard about the opportunity and I had actually seen an ad on Craigslist, which is against the rules to post on Craigslist and Beachbody. So, um, but I started Googling about Beachbody and, you know, all the thoughts go through your head, like oh, scam, you know, make money from home. And then I found my coach and we started talking and something just told me, this is, this is your end. This is what you are meant to do. So from day one, I was all in. But I think that that's important to share that I was at rock bottom before I started because I think that we go through things in our life so that we can help people. And this avenue, Beach Body, is that. It is not, you know, just a workout program. It is not just a superfood shake. It is not just selling challenge packs. This is our ship to get your message to the masses. So my message to everyone is, you know, I'm really passionate about taking care of your debt and I'm really passionate about being happy every single day, finding the joys in your life. So I wrote a whole list of what I wanted to kind of like communicate to my niche market. Um, and that's how I kind of dish out my sharing. So what I would suggest to you guys is write an entire list of, you know, the reasons why you became a Beachbody coach and the other things besides Beachbody that you would like to share with people or you would like to communicate into somebody else's life or value that you can give somebody. Um, 
you know, I'm sure there are people on here who have corporate jobs and can communicate things about that to people. Or I'm sure there are people on here who struggle with anxiety or depression and you guys can communicate that to people. I think this is important because we are not, you know, we are not beach body robots. <laughs> and the reason it is so important to share those things that you're passionate about besides beach body is because ultimately a customer will buy into you. A customer will come to you because of your consistency. A customer will come to you because of your transparency. Um, and I'm sure you guys have experienced that already. And I'm sure you guys, Colleen obviously will tell you this as well, but you are your product. Um, and Beachbody already does a great job of spending the money on the infomercials and branding Beachbody as, as this company that's integrity and family and health and fitness and all of that. But we need to take that and then make it our own because we are independent business owners. So that being said, when you're, when you're branding yourself, this really helped me, this analogy in the beginning. If you guys think about the major companies, like if you think about Ford, there's a certain kind of customer that buys a Ford car, right? Like it's um, an American car and there's a certain type of person who buys a Honda. You know, you wouldn't catch the same type of people at, the, at those dealerships. Or, you know, a company like, let's say Affleck, everybody knows the duck. So you want to kind of try and relate when somebody thinks of your page or um, somebody is talking about you, you want the same five things to come into their head. So about me, because I've been so consistent with my posts and sharing my story and sharing those things, um, immediately in all of the message I, I receive, it never fails. I literally, every time people are like, you are so happy. Thank you so much for brightening my day. You've helped me see how I can find joys in my life. So that's my number one, help people find joy in their every day. My number two is help people combat anxiety with fitness and nutrition. So I've had countless people come to me and say, you know what, your story about anxiety really, really, really got to me. And I want to buy a challenge back because of that, because it helped you. Uh, my third one is about debt. And I've had a bunch of people reach out to me and say, oh my gosh, how did you do that? Please tell me. And then that's another way I made connections with them. So um, I think I just saw Colleen type that down there, but um, it's called five, your five passion points. So um, that is what really helps me when I'm having a day when I can't come up with content or I'm kind of struggling to, oh my gosh, what am I going to post today? Because I'm sure you guys feel sometimes it's like how am I going to come up with all this useful content and adding value all the time I go back to my passion points and I think how or how can I share a story in my life with everybody and, and another funny thing comes up a lot with my team they say well I don't have that many stories how do you come up with all these these stories from your life um a really a really fun thing for me to try and do is um, I try and think whenever I scroll down my newsfeed and I see something negative and this, this is kind of weird, but whenever I see something negative, I, I think, okay, when have I been there in my life in this negative post? And then how can I turn that person's negative post into helping them see a positive? And then nine times out of 10, it helps five people, it helps six people, because that is something that's on everyone's mind. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about that my team always questions is feeling comfortable sharing. Because I know in the beginning, it can seem like, well, I don't want everybody knowing my business, and I don't want to share my story and, and make myself vulnerable and tell people I'm not perfect. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, but I can tell you that this actually changed my entire business. In the beginning, I had sort of a stigma attached to me. Um, all of my friends and all the people I grew up with, when I first started posting about Beachbody, I did, you know, the generic new coach post about, you know, join me in my challenge. I'm super excited. I have five spots. I'm doing this new workout. And I got a ton of backlash about Bonnie, you always been skinny. You've always worked out. You don't need to do this. It wasn't until I shared those imperfect things about myself and about my struggles 
that my business started taking off. People need to see imperfection. Perfection is not relatable. And that's why I hate when I get that question from new coaches, well, I don't have the perfect body or I'm not happy all the time or I don't have a perfect life. That is what is relatable. That's what sets you aside from the pack. I mean, everybody who is successful has a story, has bad things that they've gone through and come out the other side. And that is why I think we are all here. We, you know, ultimately have been drawn here to share those stories. And you know, it can be scary at first sharing them. I do have a couple tips for that as well. Um, when I first shared my story with everybody, I mean, these are things that even my best and closest friends did not know about me. And I mean, pressing send on, on some of those posts was very scary. <laughs> um, but at first, I just shared on a blog that I created and it wasn't public and I didn't share it on Facebook, but it was just kind of to get it off of my chest and to get that first step done. Like, okay, I shared it. It's on the interwebs. I can't take it back. And then well, I didn't even know started commenting on it. And it gave me a little bit of that boost to say, okay, now I feel strong enough. Now I can kind of share this in bits and pieces. And it doesn't have to be some grand, okay, here's my struggle story. Um, just try and think, you know, of, of the times in your life that were a little bit hard and that Beachbody swooped in and saved. Or, you know, if it doesn't even have to be a super tragic or, you know, some sort of scary story. Just if you're going through your every day and you know, you have one of those days where you can't get motivated um, and that knocks out a couple categories, right? That knocks out sharing value and that knocks out sharing your story. So people start to see a little bit of the inside of you as well as your truth. Um, so yeah, does anybody have any questions for me or um, things that you'd like to add? I'll add something first so you guys can think of questions for Bonnie. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I know like the Could you internet guys not hear me? No, it was like I could hear you, but like sometimes it was like delayed and then would catch up. I got every word you said, but it was choppy. I don't know if it's you or if it's mine because I'm not at my house right now, but um don't worry, we got it. <laughs> um so I just kind of wanted to piggyback off of what Bonnie was saying. She was basically saying how it's not about perfection. And nine out of ten times a new coach will say, Well, I'll think about coaching when I have results. And we all know as coaches on this team that it's not about showing the, like the after you want to be able to relate to people during your, I don't like to say struggles, but you know, it's hard when you're going through a program, it's not easy. You have to decide, you have to commit, you have to push play every day. And when people can relate to you during that journey, it's a lot easier. There's a saying that, um, Brad taught me, I don't know where he got it from, but perceived, perceived perfection equals no connection. And if you guys have watched my webinar that I made, that's in there. People will not have a connection with you if you're perceived as being perfect and eating all your healthy snacks every single day. You have to talk about you. And if you're perfect, then you're lucky. But I highly doubt we're all perfect because we all have our struggles, right? Like this week's really hard for me. And like, I'm not trying to talk about the negativity in my life, but I'm also showing that, you know, things aren't perfect, but I'm doing my best. Um, another thing that Bonnie talked about, because I wrote some notes here is Talking about anxiety, talking about debt, talking about those kind of things, those are negative things, but the way that she talked about it, she turned the negative into a positive because she talked about how she overcame it. And that is something that has also helped me so much with my business as I rewind back to the person I was before I started or how I felt and the shoes I was in and what made me take the step towards Beachbody, what made me take a step to try something new. And that little gap right there from the person you were to the day you signed up as a coach, that's where that gap that you have to talk about um, is going to really help your business. Um, and then the last thing is the stories on this team. When I end up putting you guys into a push group or when you're in a training and we share our why statement, never forget your original why statement, but it's okay if your why changes. All of the stories in this team have wowed me. There's people I've known since kindergarten on this call, and even when they said their why and why they want to do this, they blew me away. So don't be afraid to share that, even if you think it's nothing. Um, someone has a question. Go for it, Crystal. 
Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I, um, uh, Katie knows, I suffer from anxiety and I have for a long time, um, but I haven't had a panic attack since I started Beachbody eight months ago. So I want to share that with people, but I'm also hesitant because it's something that's very personal to me and that I don't, this is the first time like I'm sharing it like out loud. Um, like Super Saturday for me was something I would never do before. I would never go in a room and work out with 300 people without having an anxiety attack. How would you suggest I share that? Would you tell a story of when your anxiety started or would you just talk about a time that you had anxiety? How would you go about starting to talk about that? Well, first of all, I wanted to talk about the fear of putting it out there because, well, thank you for telling me that because I know that's really hard because I suffer from the same thing. So I feel you, girl. But I think that it's really important to hold on to the fact that you could help so many people by sharing that. And that is something that I write down in front of me every single time I share something scary. For every person who reads that and thinks, you know, something negative about it. Um, you will have three people who you change their lives because of it. Um, so hold that in the forefront of your mind. As far as how I would do it, um, when I first shared mine, I used it as sort of a reason why I continue to love Beachbody. Like I talked a little bit about before about my the characteristics of my anxiety and how it would come on and I talked about some concrete things that have to do with each body that change that so that I could control like my workouts like my nutrition like concentrating on something that was bigger than me or focusing on other people helping them that's when my anxiety started to fade away so you know without word vomiting beach body all over it. I sort of tried to make the comparison just like what Colleen was saying, that little gap, you know, you have the person that you were before and then beach body comes in here and you have the after person, you know, sharing the comparison. It's kind of like a before and after for a workout program, but just a different subject. So you better share that girl. That is awesome. All right. I'm going to thank you so much. Of course. Um, we have some, like I was saying, we have awesome stories in this team. And so when we, I don't think that you guys are fearful to actually share it. I think sometimes you guys are worried about the actual wording. And if you guys maybe just like sit down and I always write bullet points and then I start typing and then I erase a million things and then I go back and I read it. It's if you're going to make a post like that, give yourself, you know, 10 minutes to like read it over. And then, um, I, tr I don't like sit here and read it out loud, but I actually read it myself to make sure it flows. And as long as you're being genuine in it and saying like in the back of my head, I'm always like, okay, I, like Bonnie said, I hope that this can help someone else because I guarantee that every person in this world suffers from some form of anxiety, whether it's a worry, whether it's, you know, bad things happening in their life, their anxiety can mean a million things. So I feel like, um, Crystal, you're probably speaking for more people than yourself on this call right now and sharing that, um, I decided to make a change because anxiety was grueling my life or however you feel I'm putting in my own words here, but, um, and I, and I think it's important to remember that there is no right or wrong way to share anything. Like, you know, I used to spend hours stressing over how something was worded or how it came off or, you know, the most important things to ask yourself when you're sharing is, does it add value? Is it true? Does it help someone? And does it end positively? Do I give people a positive note to end on? Because, you know, talking about that thing, like Colleen touched on a little bit, can get negative. But again, always bringing it towards that positive note at the end, like here's how you can change it. Um, there's a question in the chat box and then someone else has a question for you. I'm just reading it so that in the recording people can see what's in the chat box. Um, Bonnie, how many hours do you spend on Beachbody a day with your part-time job? How would you tell someone who works full-time to use their time? So in the beginning when I first started, I had three jobs not including Beachbody. Um, I worked, I would confidently say 16 hours a day at the beginning. Um, and in the beginning, it was extremely tough to juggle 
time. But again, I just knew that this was something for me. So I was spend about an hour a day and it was usually on a lunch break or actually while tra traveling to another job. Um, so I wrote down my priorities. I wrote down my three vital behaviors and what I wanted to get done every day was realistic. You know, write out your non-negotiables for the month, but when you're working a full-time job or you're pressed for time or you have that really flexible schedule, you have to make your goals every day realistic. Um, you know, checking into the team page, touching base with Colleen, um, your three vital behaviors, and then after time, that consistency will roll over so don't worry if you don't have any time block yourself you know the hours that you want to put towards it and then prioritize those hours um, how many how much time do I spend now not to scare anybody but I'm a little passionate so I spend a lot of hours on beach body um, I usually wake up at six and get my workout done very early in the morning and then I work all day until about 3 40 five I go and coach gymnastics for two hours and then I drive back home and I probably work until 11 o'clock at night definitely committed and I think everyone on the team definitely has like a million jobs going on and it's more so really about like what she said the priorities um like scrolling through Facebook, I know I find myself doing that every single day. And uh, maybe I, ha I have more time now because I'm not working full time anywhere else. But um, just stick to the priorities of building relationships, reaching out to people, doing your fitness. Um, and a question that I ask myself constantly is while I get caught scrolling through Facebook or the notifications button kills me, I it's a, an internal struggle like I have to click it but I can't click it so I constantly am telling myself is this the best use of your time right now what should you be doing what else should you be concentrating on because you only have 45 more minutes so it's just about that discipline if you guys haven't read the compound effect I would really recommend reading that it changed my time management outlook on life um, it's a really good one to read it's by Darren Hardy um, Bonnie, we have another question too. Um, oh wait, Jennifer, you can do yours first. Sorry, go ahead. Jennifer Stern. Am I unmuted? Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, so as far as something that you overcame and sharing about that, like there are things that I've overcome and I can share about those, but there are also still things that like I still struggle with or that like I may do a, like for me, it's mental health. So I may do great for a while and then like I may get hit with a pretty hard depression and like do my best to get through it. But, and I don't know if Colleen can also speak to this cause I know she has something going on in her life. Like as opposed to something you've overcome, how do you post about things that you're still working, working around and working with and doing all of this? Well, I think that's really important and that's an awesome question because ultimately, I mean, what we were talking about being perfect versus being imperfect, we, we don't want to say, oh, I was struggling way before Beachbody and then Beachbody came and now everything's perfect <laughs> because that wouldn't be realistic at all. So I think it's really, really important to share our current struggles. Um, but, but a way to do that is here's my struggle but here's how I'm working through it. Here's how I'm trying to keep it positive. Like, um, try to layer it in there. Like, you know, I am not perfect, but here is how, what I'm trying to do. And this is really helping me today. You know, it, it sort of goes along with the overcoming struggles. And I, I think that we all should be sharing that stuff. I mean, today I did not want to work at all. I woke up and I just wanted to go back to Bed. So I shared that and I shared what I did to overcome it. And I feel like that's ultimately where people find the most value. You know, she's being real. And, you know, Jennifer, if you share that stuff, you're sharing that you're a normal human being, you know? So I think that's awesome to share. Um, Jennifer, just to kind of like touch, cause you know, definitely a part of the conversation as this week goes by, um, something that I've learned and just to kind of give you something tangible, like, and how to think about how to post is I don't sit there and tell the event because 
you know, not everyone needs to know exactly, but there's something that's going on and you can word this however you want, leave out the details, but just say that, you know, um, I'm feeling this way. So it could be like unsure, I'm frustrated, I'm stressed, I feel pressed. Um, and so typically I would do this, but instead today I'm drawing the line and I'm going to do this. So just like Bonnie said, to tell them how you're feeling. You don't have to give the details of exactly what it is um, unless you want to, but kind of give them an idea of how you're feeling and then say, but instead I'm doing this. Or let's say you didn't do something to help the way you were feeling. You can say, you know what? I kind of fell back in a slump and I was thinking negative, but I just know it's not making me feel good inside. So hopefully tomorrow I can be bigger or better. So whatever realness you need to share that day, whether it's the struggle is real or this is how I overcame it. That's something I suggest without actually going through the details. It's kind of um, like we say, you know, share your life as a reality show. And that's such a horrible example because we, we're not about the drama. But if people don't know you and you're not sharing you and you're just leaving out, you know, all the the hard times, it's not really you then. And so like Bonnie's video this morning was hilarious. If you guys, um, after you follow her today, go watch it. So she basically made a video of her drinking her coffee and she didn't want to work today. So she made an awesome playlist of, of songs and was jamming out. And how many other people's days, how many other people did she make smile this morning because she was having a rough morning and maybe they were too. And it was hilarious. It made me laugh, you know, and it, so it helped me today. Um, so yeah, Katie just said her awesome singing video. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, um, I hope that helps Jennifer. And if you can always reach out and I'm usually pretty good with that stuff, I can help too. Um, Kristen Swanson has a question. Um, what about the length of your post? I feel like I don't want to post too much so that people will read it. But at the same time, I want to make sure people are hearing my story. I have trouble finding the balance. Yeah, this is a really tough thing. That's an awesome question. Um, I personally might sound like a hypocrite when I say this because I am very, very wordy. I, that's why Instagram and me, we don't really mesh very well because I'm like, a hundred characters, what? <laughs> um, so, but I also think it's very important to gain collateral with your audience before you do those long posts. Or another trick for me is, um, you have to put something in the top paragraph that makes people want to click that see more button. Um, but again, in the beginning, when you're first starting, you want to make sure that you've already built your brand. You've already gotten some things out there. People who have been following you kind of, um, kind of have a feeling for you already before you start with the really lengthy posts. So if you're going to write something very long, I would suggest maybe just posting like a teaser on your Facebook and then going and it, if people want to read more, they go to your blog. Um, but in the beginning, yeah, you definitely have to build that collateral before. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? How like if it's really long, it condenses it so people don't see everything. Um, Another really good tip that my coach told me is try and create a scroll stopper. So 99% of people who are looking at Facebook are scrolling through their iPhones, right? So you want to make an image that goes along with your post that makes people stop in their tracks. Use bright colors, use bright words, try to make something stand out, try to put a catchy phrase in the picture that goes along with what you're saying. And that way people have stopped scrolling and they're gonna read more. Um, that's just a trick that helps for me. My posts that I do use images for get way more engagement than if I just post a regular status. Kristen, I think like I was just listening to what she was saying and how she said like the scroll stopper, that's what you said, right? Um, yeah. I always tell every like new coaches to go with an opening line. So by the way, Kristen has lost 43 pounds with 21 day fix and she's rocking it. Um, so for me, Kristen, if I was to give you advice on that example is I'm really excited to share my story. Losing 43 pounds has not been easy. That's a scroll stopper. People are going to be like, what's she doing? Even if they don't want to lose weight, that's a story people want to read. And you're, you're not going to sit there and tell your story. So like once upon a time, like you're going to take a piece of your story that you want to convey that day and you want to talk about like just something. And so that's what's really cool about what we do is you're going to be telling the story for the rest of your life. 
If you guys ever read my posts, I'm still telling my story every day, but it's a new part of my story. It's something new that popped into my head. Um, personal development will be huge for that, but you have such a cool story to share that you don't want to start from point A and go to point Z all in one post. Just pick a part that packs a punch, and that's how you could like do an opening line for the scroll stopping. Congratulations, by the way, Kristen, you rock. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, does anyone, anyone else have any questions? You can unmute yourself or you can write in the chat box. Nobody? Kristen said, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> anything, it doesn't have to be about the call. You guys can ask me anything. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I don't have a question, but I just wanted to say thank you for sharing about the, um, like encouraging us to share our story and our struggles. Cause I, even though like, you know, people can tell it to me like every single day, it's still, like I still need to hear it all the time because I forget I'll get caught up in what I'm doing. And I, I am struggling through a lot of stuff right now and I know it's affecting me and I know it's affecting my business and everything. And I forget to share. I just become like a hermit. So it really helps when you guys keep saying share, 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 you know, just keeps it in my mind to share with people who might be struggling as well. So I appreciate yeah. it. Of course. And especially in this business, you know, I'm sure you guys have heard it before, but we're all about turning your mess into a message, you know, um, that just, it just gives you sort of, sort of an edge. It gives you a realness. It gives you a truthfulness. You know, people already have sort of, um, like a predisposed opinion of Beachbody, like, like, oh, somebody tried to sell me Beachbody before. But through sharing and through being real and through helping people, we can combat that right away. So I think that you should share, Candice. Um, and I have to give everyone on this team like a super congratulations because um, I've said this a million times, but I, when I started, I sat in my room and I had no one to coach with and no one to work with and no one to work out with and not like it was just me. And then, you know, of, of course I was part of Liz's team and they were great, but the amount of coaches on dream court alone that have been willing to share from day one, like I don't even have to teach you guys social media because you guys just get it. You're not scared. None of you have ever said, well, what if someone says something to me? And I'm so proud of you guys for that because that sometimes is the one thing that makes a coach um, hold him or herself back. So I really do have to say how proud of I am, how proud I am. I'm sorry, I cannot talk today. How proud I am of you guys, because um, that is like usually the number one thing that holds people back. So um, cool. <laughs> Katie said, hell yeah, I love this team. I like <laughs> the chat box out loud. It's fun. Um, okay, guys, if you guys don't have any other questions, for Miss Bonnie. Make sure you click follow on her page. She's awesome and she has the biggest, brightest smile ever that will make your day and really push you to share more. You guys, thank you so, so much for having me. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can send me a message if you don't feel comfortable saying it here or we can chat some other time. But I really, really encourage you guys to share because you have no idea how many lives you can touch and how many people you can help. Um, you guys all have the power within you and don't be afraid to share because that is the, if we've gone through it, then we can help somebody else go through it. And I really feel like that's the purpose for everything that happens in our lives. So be brave. Yes. Thanks again, Bonnie. You're the best. And, um, I'm so proud of all you guys for showing up tonight. 18 of us. Woohoo. Um, we'll keep kicking back guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm sure. Thank you again, Bonnie. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.